Good day. If you want to sketch an exponential graph in grade 10, we will use this formula y equals to a times b to the power of x plus q. We will use four steps to sketch this exponential graph. First, you work out that there is one asymptote, y equals to bad guy. Then number two, we work out the y-intercept by making x naught. Then we will use a table to find one or two more coordinates. Then we will work out the x-intercept if it has an x-intercept by making y naught. So here is our first equation. We've got f of x equals to y equals to 2 to the power of x. Because the formula tells me it looks like this, I've got to bring in a q just to just remind me. So I rewrite it as y equals to 2 to the power of x plus 0. The first thing I look for is the one asymptote, y equals to bad guy. So y equal to the naught. So I have the one asymptote, y equals to 0. At this stage, I will start by making a rough sketch to see where everything is going and what my intervals have to be. So here, on the right-hand side, I made a y-axis and x-axis. I've got an asymptote at y equals to naught. I made the asymptote there on the x-axis, where y equals to naught. Our next step is to work out our y-intercept by making x naught. Use your calculator extensively when you work out calculations in graphs. Here I went, I made the x naught, so I got 2 to the power of naught, which is 1. This gives me the coordinate naught and 1. I also mark that on my y-axis, there is the naught. The third thing we have to work out is I have to make a table to find one or two more coordinates. I take naught as x, or x as naught, and take one or two numbers right of him, and one or two numbers on the left of him, and then find the answers. Again, use the calculator. You take that minus 2, plug it with your calculator in the exponent, you're going to get the answer a quarter. You take the naught, plug it in the air, we've already done that, gives you a 1. Take a 2, put the plus of x in the air and get a 4. Then I plot these three points, minus 2 and a quarter, so I'm going to go where x is minus 2. A quarter will just be above the line, that's that cross over there. Then I take naught and 1, x is naught and y is 1, I've already marked it, that was my y-intercept. Take x is 2 and y is 4, so x is 1, x is 2 over here, and y is 4 over there, and they meet over there. Then I've got my basic idea where the graph will sit. The fourth thing we have to look for is x-intercepts, if it has. This one, x-intercepts, no, there's no x-intercepts. Why? Because on the x-axis is an asymptote. It's a little bit difficult to connect all this, but if you look at this video once or twice, you should catch this. So that means we're gonna have, not going to have an x-intercept, and there is the graph is going to sit over there. So this is what the rough sketch will look like. It will run here. It's not allowed to cross the asymptote. I made this video as short as I could. I'm going to make another video that would say background knowledge before starting exponential graph sketching. Now, that will tell you all basic things that you need about and to know how to do calculations and exponents. But that's not going to be part of this video. Enjoy sketching exponential graphs.